If you missed my review of the finale episode, the link is in the description below. This is just straight up social media reaction. Drew got dragged so badly for her actions with this whole profit situation and messing up Cynthia Bailey friends must that turn into friend mess okay so I'm going to get into the intro of Kenya and then read some of the comments of what people had to say on social media let's get into it What's up, my Vina love sisters? Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Drew is a bully. How can they not see that? Drew, you are a bully. Bullying Christian. I hope this is your last season on the Real Housewife of Atlanta. WTF is wrong with Drew. You see, she has a knife in her hand, and you literally walked up to her like the mm hmm. I would have hit you if you came up in my face. B word, don't play with me. Now, I'm going to get to all of that, okay? But if you saw the episode, Kenya was opening her gifts, right? Opening different boxes with knife. And Drew walked up on her. And she simply just said, don't walk up on me. She did not try to harm Drew. None of that. But because Drew is desperate for a moment in the storyline with Kenya. And Kenya is paying her dust. She tried to make that a thing. I'm going to read the comments where there were people defending Drew as well. I'm going to get to that. But how many times did we see Bravo flashback Kenya Moore walking up and pulling Kim Field's chair? Mm-hmm. But now Drew walk up on her and people made excuses for Drew. I'm going to get to that as well. Loser. Get Drew off the... My God, someone please get Drew off that show. I can't stand her. She's garbage. Ghetto. <laughs> Drew is one of the worst addition to the show. Imagine how with time your feelings change towards people. Drew didn't know when to stop. So now she have everybody hating on her. I went from liking her to disliking her real quick. What did I say? Some people just don't know when to say when. I can't stand Drew. Bravo, hear that. Remove her bleep. <laughs> Drew is a hot bleep mess and straight up delusional. Oh, and a hypocrite too. No wonder her husband ghosts her for days. Girl, bye. Clown and mm -hmm, emoji. As tired as her wigs. Drew, she seems jealous of, La of Latoya's looks and charm. So many things wrong with Drew. It's not even funny. Isn't it illegal to record people without their consent in certain states? The prophet is family friend, but you doing this dirty just for a storyline? How you give Kenya a wig? Kenya has more hair than Drew, whole family, and a generation after. Ooh, the shade. You get mad because she tells you to back off. Bravo, please get rid of Drew. This not a good look. Bump B word Drew. What was that last episode? All the ladies were looking at her like she... Mm -hmm. Her gifts are a reflection of her tacky ways. Cynthia should have thrown her out. We can tell she doesn't have much or get out enough by the reaction over perfume. I was so embarrassed for her. I'm not going to waste any more time on the wig part. Latoya and Kenya are both targets for Drew. It's obvious all that energy should be applied to her husband's closet. Dude has a lot of, what is wrong with y'all? I'm not even reading all of it. You can see it. Oh my goodness. Y'all be taking things too far. <laughs> 
Did Drew put that much energy in finding out where her husband was if this storyline is true? Drew is doing the absolute most. Now she's on the attack. They said one bad thing about your wig. Child, relax. Drew, I like you, but you're doing too much. Why do it bother you about the prophet in Latoya? She can't do nothing he don't want to do, even if he's cheating. What concern of that is yours? Did you ever find out where Ralph was for three days? <laughs> Prophets a man at the end of the day. He wanted Latoya. That's between him and his God. Worry about your house and let God worry about the prophet. Like I said, Latoya did not do anything with this prophet on the real house of Atlanta, and that's the difference. Drew, girl, go sit down somewhere. You are the most annoying person ever, girl. Bye. Bravo, will you give the girl a rotten apple and send her on her way, please? Drew lean as hell with her tired, basic, mm. This Drew character is a weirdo. She do too much and always popping hot-ish like, girl, shut the bleep up and take... <laughs> Ooh, they're dragging Drew. Drew, sit your country bleep down somewhere. Drew is annoying, girl. See? See how things backfired? Kenya, please do this to Portia Williams. Without you, they do not have a storyline. Pay them dust. They are going to go somewhere else with that mess. When Drew realized you were not paying her any attention, she took her attention somewhere else to Latoya and look at what's happening. It backfired and now she's getting dragged. But I get it. There's only so much you're going to take if someone keeps coming for you. You can ignore them. But then eventually you will clap back or defend yourself. So I get it why Kenya gave Portia some attention. Drew, sit down. You are embarrassing. Drew, you know Kenya wasn't pointing that knife at you like that. Oh, Lord. She's so thirsty. Drew doing too much. Drew needs to chill. She's finna be another Eva Marcel. OMG, fire Drew already, please. Drew is dirt, dry, thirsty. Who? Please don't bring Drew back. <laughs> Drew was acting real crackish in this whole clip. What the hell is wrong with her? Now, I don't, nah, I don't think Drew should return. What in the world is Drew messy problem? Drew is doing too much. So Drew got caught lying, LOL. Okay, basically this person, Drew got caught lying. You know, she's playing the tape that proves she made the whole thing up. Kenya was physically attacked and her co-workers went to come for her attacker instead of her and Brava was cool with it. I don't blame her one bit for not wanting Drew to walk up on her like that while she's sitting down. Also, Drew clearly is a big liar and those type of people are dangerous. Drew is doing what she touched she needed to do on the show and it's a knowing ass bleep. Her social media is a disaster with the constant Red House of Atlanta talk she can go for me. Every time that Kenya walks up to somebody, the haters accuse Kenya of being a threat. But now Drew did that to Kenya, but isn't considered a threat to Kenya. Kenya already had the knife in her hand and it wasn't like she pulled the knife blade out of nowhere when Drew invaded her personal space. The hate that Kenya receives is hypocritical and exhausting. Exactly. Exactly. Didn't you lie and say that Toya broke up Guy's marriage? When in fact the dude cheated on his soon-to-be wife with the baby mother? This is why I don't like Drew. She clearly making things up and telling lies. How do you walk up on someone and get mad because they had a knife in their hand? It was already in her hand. Drew so bleep extra for no reason. Drew needs this check bad. I mean, come on. Of course, the house. Drew is a thirst bucket. How are you going to walk up to someone using a knife then fake outrage just because she pulled a stop knowing bleep well that knife wasn't pointing at you? Thank you. 
Why the hell this chick so mad about this man and not worried about her man who he was laying up with? I think Drew wants to profit. Or I think that alleged kiss that Latoya gave her, you know, did some things to her and she's jealous. Cause I, I don't I don't get it. And this is the part this girl got dragged. Shaking my head at Kenya for doing that. No one was in fight mode, but she feels threatened. What show did you watch? Drew wasn't in fight mode? Are you serious? These are the same people that, yes, bravo for replaying Kenya walking up on people clips. Oh, but now Drew wasn't in fight mode. Drew was charging basically and she came in Kenya's face. What did Kenya do? I love this response. I always say this, right? Kenya even breathing is a problem. Apparently breathe. <laughs> apparently breed that's all kenya has to do to be wrong with these idiots thank you i always say that exactly this person goes she was opening the box and drew walked over another girl bye friends must turn into friends mess laughing face emojis i hollered when cynthia sent said that and I don't blame Cynthia for asking people to leave her house after some people destroying it. Exactly. Drew needs her bleep beat, making up all these lies, plus probably took that whole statement out of context just to make herself feel better. Just a big mm -hmm, fraud. She needs to get off the show. Drew is a weirdo and hella corny. Why are you so invested in something that has nothing to do with you? Like who cares about Toya messing with that pastor? Pastor, prophet, P, same thing. Drew is ratchet and should be on love and hip hop with Portia. Of course, they get along. Both dumb ratchet and liars. Oof, mm, they said it, not me. Drew is a cornball loser, doing too much and not enough at the same time. Now, trust me, we will be here all night because this is just Instagram. Don't get me started on Twitter. When I tell you the drag on Twitter was brutal, okay? And I'm just going to stick with these Instagram comments that I chose because most of them, if I read them, you know, the reaction I had with what that person said about Drew husband and the, mm-hmm, yeah, that's how most of the comments looked and I don't want to get into that. Drew seen how badly she got dragged wrote. No matter what happened, this is a strong group of women. I'm so blessed to get a chance to get to know them and bond with them. We are black girl magic. Hashtag sisterhood. Girl, if you didn't have a thousand dollars, you should have just said that and didn't participate in the gift exchange. That was so embarrassing and didn't make sense. My sentiments exactly. If you can't afford to participate, don't. Girl, bye. That recording and overly concerned about what two adults were doing, you were wrong and it went too far. The cheap wig for a gift was also wrong and far from classy. Everyone spent their money. If it was a gag gift, where was the real gift? Disappointed. So I just wanted to give you social media reaction. Social media said it all. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless. You.